So guys, I'm working on this 2016 Transit. One of the issues was somebody had put a BCM in here. This is how it was when the guy got it. They put a used BCM in here and the thing thought it had dual rear wheels and it took me forever to get it to program to say that it has single rear wheels. And then I had an issue with the instrument cluster. I still think there might be an issue with the instrument cluster. I think somebody swapped it, but somebody also swapped the PCM. So this thing's all messed up. Like I think stuff's supposed to be on the network that isn't. So it has this code. I think it's a P163F. I think it is transmission fault code saying that uh, the transmission data is corrupt. So I want to come in here. I want to see if we can do this live. Like I don't do a lot of programming guys. So I might mess up here. I might not even do stuff right. So we're going to come in here. Uh, let's see, is it in a powertrain? No, we're gonna go into module programming. I'm on the internet. At least I should be on the internet. Uh, let's see, program. I think it might be here, transmission. Yes. Uh, let's see, I don't know which. Okay, so I guess we'll try to do this one first. Uh, I have to look at the sticker real quick, guys. See if the sticker's right, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we do have a 13 digit solenoid body code. And we have a 12 digit solenoid. It says identification, I don't know what IDN stands for. So we're gonna continue. Now I might have to stop it if it asks me to it asks me to look at the codes because I don't know if I can look at the codes and film at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I gotta fill these in. So I'm gonna type these in real quick and I'll be right back guys. Got them typed in, so let's try to update it. Let's see. Hopefully this will update because the PCM kept saying updates were not on the... Oh, awesome. We're successfully updated. Function complete. Awesome. Hopefully this will get rid of our code. That's it. Let's see, let's exit. Now exiting. Awesome. I'm gonna quick grab my other scan tool and we're gonna scan this and clear the codes. Like I can use this, but it pulls up other codes and it doesn't tell you what they are. Here guys, I'll show you what this is setting. Like it'll say lost communication with ABS, which I can't communicate with the ABS. Rear camera has rear camera. Parking assist, this doesn't have parking assist, at least not that I could find. I even looked online, I think under the Oasis website or whatever, I, didn't, I don't think I saw parking assist. And it sets these generator circuits. And then this transmission ID block corrupted that P163F was the code. But all the modules on here will set lost communication with ABS. Let's go back and scan this. I could have just activated it from there, but I want it to be like a fresh scan. Here we go. Let's do a code scan and then we'll clear it. See if we fixed our issue with our ID block, because it would set instantly. So our G block's there, we probably have to clear it. Yeah, like before this thing would say like it had inner and outer rear tires and it didn't have them. Let's just go back, let's clear. I don't know why it tells you to take it all like turn the ignition off when you go back. 
This is the first vehicle that I saw that does that. And this chime's ridiculously annoying. If no, somebody knows how to turn it off while you're working on it, it please tell me. So there we go, let's cycle the key. Let's try starting this up. Let's do a full code scan again. See if it'll say the ID. Well, this looks promising. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can go in reverse. if it set a code or not. Let's just, actually we should've just went in the transmission. Do a self test real quick. Oh, another thing is this thing was set a code for overdrive too. I don't know if it's going to do it again now that it's programmed, but it doesn't have an overdrive switch. It just has this manual switch, and I don't know if that's what it means. I press overdrive, but I didn't see anything on here for like tow mode or anything. doesn't have four-wheel drive Let's see if this will if this will set a code or not yeah see transmission control switch overdrive cancel out of range we don't have it Overdrive cancel that I've seen. But looks like it fixed our other issue. What is this? Cylinder head temperature sensor out of range? Maybe it's because we weren't warmed up. So we're still cold. But it's not charging. We're just running off my truck. So I gotta see if he wants me to go after this generator circuit or what? but I think we might be good. Let's see. Let's see if we set any other codes. I told him we gotta go after this ABS issue because the ABS module doesn't communicate. That's awesome. And I looked up this code and I think it says it's from the radio causes this code in the body control module. Here's like the ASIM or something like that, accessories something. Oops. But yeah. To me, I guess that's a confirmed fix in that code. And I really love these jumper cables. I've been using these all the time. Hope you guys like it. See you later. So guys, here's some bonus information. So I went in this uh, programmable parameters right here. Personality. Right here. I press yes. And then it came up and asking me this. The APIM I can't communicate with, but it has this, I think. I don't know what exactly this was. So I pressed OK, located the files, and it ended. So then I came up here, put the car in reverse. Look at that, we got backup camera now. I'm learning. This is awesome. So now I'm trying to figure out how to program the key fobs. The scan tools can't do the key fobs. And I know we can do key fobs on here because the key fobs don't work. Neither one of them work. So, I'm trying to find some information on how to do the key fobs. So I'll be right back, guys. So guys, look how you have to program this. So you take a key. Well, actually, you unlock the door. Cycle the key on and off eight times to hear a chime. Then, you hold a button on the key fob. 
until you hear a chime. So watch this. Let's see if I can do this with you guys. So we press unlock. And we cycle the key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hear our chime. Now we hold a button. And I think that was our chime that quick. Just gonna hold it for a couple seconds just to make sure. There we go. Look at that. Now they work. Just did it with the other one too. So both key fobs work. Or did I unprogram this one? Or did I do the same one twice? I might have done the same one twice. Let's do this one. There we go. So this one works. Let's try the other one, make sure the other one still works. Huh, wonder why I can't have these two at the same time. Doesn't say anything about. I wonder if it's like too close. Try it again. Let me open the door and make sure there's not something funky going on here. So now this one works. See if the other one works. No, it deprograms the other one every time. No idea why. Maybe somebody can add it in there. Why? Okay. Hey, at least one works. Maybe there's too many keys on here. Because it doesn't mention anything about programming extra keys in here. It says a maximum of eight can be programmed. Repeat the step for each transmitter. So I don't know why it erases the other one. Like, like they're both forward keys. But if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. If not, hopefully you guys like this. See you later. Oh guys, another thing. These interior lights I never saw come on before. See if they focus. Now the interior lights are working. I wonder if maybe it's because the PCM wasn't programmed or that rear view camera wasn't set up. Crazy. Because I know like Ford they'll do stuff with the interior lights when you don't have, when you don't finish programming with the TPMS. But even after I did that, these interior lights didn't come on. So guys, I got it. I went back and read the information. Now they both work. Look at that. So, there's a trick to this. It says right here that it ends, programming mode ends when the ignition switch on 10 seconds after elapsed since programming, well, since you entered programming, or since the last RKE transmitter is programmed. But you gotta hold the button for 10 seconds. Um, and then you gotta do that for each one. So once you enter it, you cycle it eight times, you hold this one, wait for it to beep. Then you go hold the other one and you wait for it to beep. And then they both work, see? So that one works. Just set that one right there. We'll grab this one. Bam, look at that. Awesome. See you guys later. Just wanted to add in here. I guess we still got our codes for the camera. But like I said, the camera works now. It didn't work before. So let's see. Yep, camera works now. So I don't know why the body control module says that, but it also lost communication with the ABS. So I don't know if that's related. Let's see if we, I wanna quick see if we unplug the alternator, if the alternator are charged, because I think these default to charging when unplugged. Let's see. 
guess my flashlight's dead. Let's try my other one. There we go. get my hand in there. Yeah, I think the alternator is bad because it's not charging right now, so I just unplugged it. So I don't know if these default or not. He doesn't want me to really check it out, so I just figured I'd just try it real quick. A simple test. But it's not charging. Yeah, we're not charging. So that's it for today. Let's see what it's set. Well, these key fobs work now. Yep. See you guys later.